Hello DCPS 6th graders. My name is Mrs. Strepik. I'm a literacy instructional coach over at McFarland Middle School. Go Mustangs! This is just a short informational video to tell you a little bit about the upcoming unit and the work and tasks in your ELA class for the next few weeks. This unit is all about heroes, which is a really cool topic to talk about. Um, and it also talks about how a hero from a certain culture can actually tell you a lot about that culture by learning about them. You're going to have a chance to read a new text called Beowulf, A New Telling. There's a picture on this screen of one artist's rendition of some of the characters from Beowulf. It is one of the oldest tales in literature, and it contains some classic characters like heroes, and monsters and villains. During the unit, you're going to come back to these key questions that you see on the main screen over and over again. They are all about how we define a hero and how the perspective of what makes a hero can change over time. The story of Beowulf, like I said, is one of the oldest stories in literature. It was actually written down as a poem, which seems kind of a strange way to tell a story about heroes and monsters, but it's what's called an epic poem, meaning it was hundreds and hundreds of lines long to tell a story. It took place in what's now called Scandinavia, which is countries like Denmark and Sweden, but it's still really an amazing story despite being so old because it has some of the classic characters that we still see in television and in movies today, such as those monsters that seem unbeatable, like no one is going to be able to overpower them, or the heroes that don't seem strong enough, or they don't seem like they're going to be able to overcome the obstacles in their life. And of course, there are going to be villains that are really great villains that you love to hate. So in the next couple of weeks, you're going to do several things to get started with the story of Beowulf. You're first of all going to preview some vocabulary that's going to help you understand this new story and the characters of this story. You're going to have a chance to read parts of the Beowulf text multiple times so that you can really understand events. And you're also going to pay close, close attention to how the characters develop, especially which ones are developing into heroes or monsters or villains. And you might change your mind over over time about who's who. You'll see on all of the DCPS documents there's an outline of daily tasks that includes digital resources, that includes electronic resources like videos such as this one that'll help walk you through the process and the directions for each task. You can also visit the DCPS YouTube site, which is going to house many of these same videos and resources. The address for the DCPS YouTube site is there on the bottom of the screen. The materials are laid out and organized each week to look pretty much the same, so that once you get used to a pattern and a routine of activities, it should make sense moving week to week. In weeks six and seven, as you start reading the story of Beowulf, you'll be able to then start investigating some of these big questions and essential questions about what makes a monster what makes a hero, how we define them in our culture, and you'll have multiple opportunities to discuss them and to write some of your developing answers to these questions using details from the Beowulf text. We think you're doing an amazing job. Thank you to you and to your families for all of your hard work. Keep reading and writing and stay safe and be well.